Hey, what is going on everyone? I hope you all are doing phenomenal out there right now. Just wanted to hop on real quick and talk about an experience that my wife and I had today. So anybody who has followed our story knows that we went through Financial Peace University. I believe we started in 2014 and we completed it around the beginning of 2015. It was really very instrumental in allowing my wife and I to pay off all of our debt. One thing that I did not do is to follow Dave Ramsey's advice to cut up all of our credit cards. So we used a mix of credit cards and debit cards throughout the years. You know, can I say that you sometimes overspend with credit cards? It's, it's possible. Like if you want to you know, do something and you don't have the money at that time, some people can definitely overspend with credit cards. However, if you're responsible with your credit cards, if you're one of those people who pays it off every month and you know you are not overspending because you have the credit card, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a credit card. As a matter of fact, if person A and person B both put $50 in their tank, person A pays cash or uses a debit card and person B uses a credit card, let's suppose person B has a pen fed card or maybe even a Chase Sapphire you know, preferred card that may offer 5% cash back. Well, that person is basically play, paying $47.50 while person A is paying $50 for the same gas. So you are technically getting a discount for using that credit card. Now, if you go and put $50 in your tank and then you go and buy a 12 pack of beer and then you go throw a bunch of M&Ms and chips, candy on top of that that you otherwise would not have done had you used cash or a debit card, then yeah, you know, you're not doing it the right way. But I basically say that to say that we had an experience, my wife and I had an experience today that has confirmed to me that I should never and will never use debit cards again. They're just, I think debit cards are the worst product out there. It really are. And so basically today I got an email about a fraud alert on, on one of my, one of my debit cards. And I honestly didn't even recognize the last four digits of that debit card number. So in the email, it gives you an option to touch the blue button that says this purchase is okay or the red button that says this purchase is fraud well i've been through phishing and security training so i don't click anything in emails unless i'm like 110 percent sure it's a legitimate email so i didn't click anything it gave me a phone number to call i didn't call the number because i was like hey this number might even be fraudulent who knows like i'm so suspicious of everything now but then that number tried to call me and i ignored the call well the email said there were five only fans charges for ten dollars each that were attempted to go through on my account fast forward to later on this evening i checked another account that we have and there were two OnlyFans charges. There was an Amazon charge and there was an Etsy charge. So let me tell you the weird thing about the second. The second account basically says something about, well, let me, let me back up a little bit. I called the fraud department about the second set of transactions with the second debit card. And the weird thing is the guy told me that he sees two i'm sorry he sees one charge for etsy that went through and then another two charges that didn't go through he saw one only fans charge he didn't see the other one and then he didn't see the amazon charge so it was like really weird how it was working like 
it, it was it was super it was super strange because he could see a couple of charges that were attached to the debit card but he couldn't see other charges but i could see them this account was completely separate from the other account that i got an email about today about fraudulent charges with only fans i'm like nobody here has only fans account nobody here has shopped with etsy nobody here has shopped with Amazon as far as that particular charge. My wife absolutely loves Amazon. I love Amazon too sometimes, but needless to say, it was all fraud, right? It was all fraud. And in one of the accounts, it's about $79 that's tied up in that particular checking account. Thankfully, they suspected fraud so they stopped some from going through. So it's about $79 that, that's pending right now. And they were able to stop, I believe, like two charges. I have no idea where any of this stuff is coming from. I don't even necessarily know what debit card and what account this other stuff is attached to. Like, it's super weird. Like, I need to go to the credit union first thing on Monday morning and have a conversation with a banking professional and try to get to the bottom of everything. But the bottom line is that everything is fraud. I had a friend years ago who he said that his debit card would people down in Mexico were charging like 25 cents on a debit card, 30 cents, then a dollar. And it kept getting bigger. And at one point they even took out an $800 charge. Like they, they, they wiped his account clean. He eventually got his money back, but it was a super, super tedious process. And it took a long time having a debit card can absolutely wipe you clean it doesn't make me feel better that i'm going to get refunded on my account eventually a week or two months or, or a year later that doesn't make me feel well i don't want anything attached to my checking account that's going to put a freeze on everything else you know imagine you have a payment that is coming out for your life insurance or for any important payment that you have monthly and then you have a fraudulent charge that throws everything out of whack you start to get all of these you know insufficient fund fees and then on top of that other charges are declined you don't know that anything has gone on so you keep doing other things and now before you know it your your account is clear it's just too much of a hassle use your credit card when dave ramsey or anybody tells you that you have the same exact protections with a debit card i think that's an absolute lie it's not and also on top of that when you have a credit card you were trying to rent a car it's just so much easier like life is so much easier utilizing a credit card i'm telling you right now the same budget you use for a debit card use that budget for a credit card whether it's you need a budget or every dollar mint whatever you are utilizing your budget for whatever app you use whatever system pen paper pad whatever you do utilize it reconcile everything with your credit card and be on your way this stuff is too stressful if it was a credit card all i would do is just file fraud charges they would do their investigation in the meantime i would still have all of my available credit with my checking account i have to basically I had to close all my debit cards, of course. I would have had to do the same thing with credit card, but now the entire account is somewhat at risk, you know? It's at risk, and to me, it's not worth it. To me, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I think we really need to refocus on why we are doing what we have to do. If we are budgeting, and remember this also, one of the, the most important parts of financial awareness and financial literacy is realizing you have a problem. Once you realize you have a problem, that's the most important part. When you realize you have a problem, then you make a game plan. Then you start utilizing a budget or a spending plan. I like the word, or I like the term spending plan because now it doesn't look restrictive. It, it's actually you, you know, telling your money where to go so that you never have to really wonder what happened to it. So create a spending plan, budget, whatever you want to call it. And you'll be fine whether you're using a credit card or what. 
That's it. Credit cards aren't the devil. Credit cards aren't evil. Credit cards are extremely, extremely convenient. They're too convenient sometimes. All this Apple Pay and all that stuff is just, to me, it's too, it's too easy to use. I get that. But if you are disciplined and you understand, you have your why and you know I have $100 for this, it's going to be the same thing. You, you do your budget. Once you hit $100, you stop. It's no different than using a debit card or, or whatever. You just have more protections. But hey, I just wanted to hop on real quick and talk about that. I hate debit cards. I'm going to an ATM card. Bottom line, no more using a debit card or online purchases. And we've never done debit cards for airplane tickets or car rentals. It's just, that's nonsense to me. It's nonsense. But you got, you guys tell me what you think about it. Frustrating, but hopefully we'll get everything fixed on Monday. And not too much of my uh, account was compromise so i do appreciate that but hey appreciate you all for tuning in let me know what you think in the comments all right y'all take it easy all right later